Hey love bugs and welcome back to Honey T Tarot. Here we are with another channel message. I want to say thank you to everyone that's subscribing and booking your personal reads. You are greatly appreciated. Um, so with this full moon energy, what I'm getting, and I got this in the real time interaction as well. There is some friendships or one-sided friendships. There is some relationships or should I say one-sided relationships that are coming to a full close, coming to um, full completion, closing out. Um, and you're going to find this out due to like some type of conversation, um, due to some interaction. Some of you may be in your isolation period to where you literally have nobody, like externally. Um, in this physical plane, it looks like you have, you don't have like close friends, close relatives, you don't have people not only to turn up with, but even to lean on, to vent to, to be an emotional support system for you. It's like really just you and your dog or you and your kid or, you know, you and, you know, for some of you, it's literally just you um, by yourself and you don't have anyone to really lean on. And this full moon, you're going to end up um, most likely reaching out to someone that you believe is your friend or someone that you believe that um regardless of how much time has passed you know if you guys need one another you can lean on one another because in the past it may have been like that it's not like that any longer that friendship has come to a close because it's always really been one-sided um you're putting more effort into it than the other person you keeping it open or still valuing that person on that pedestal, um, you know, the, of whatever arrangement or whatever foundation that you guys have built. They were on whatever step that you guys have built and you really never took them down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you left them on the step. Like, you know what I'm saying? You still respected them, still gave them that value, you still held them to that high honor, that high authority. And I feel like this person is like really just about to pop that bubble for you. Um, yeah, it's just time for separation. It's time for, um, for you guys to be alone myself as well i picked up the deck and look what the only card that was left down the four of what knives yeah it's time for you to be alone completely alone and i know it sucks and i know it hurts because it's like like gorilla said um you know when you the strongest it really make you the weakest It's like you so strong, but it's literally like you, like you standing on the crutch. Yeah, you see them? Like it's like you standing on the crutch. You about to topple over. You feel like you drowning. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like people can see you suffocating it and won't give you any ox oxygen. They see you dying, dying, and won't resuscitate you. Yeah, strength. Ten of coins, you're always the strong one in the family and your friendships and your relationships. You're always the I'll figure it out type person. You're always the I got it. You're always the, the person that's left to deal with the black backlash or left to deal with things on your own. Yeah, four baskets. You're not able to rely on anyone, you know, People may even make you feel like you're a burden or let's say like you have friends and family that are constantly coming to you for advice, are constantly, you know what I'm saying, looking for your insight or your um your guidance on something. And it's like when you bring up something about you or what you have going on, they listen, you know, they'll hear you out, it'll go in one ear out the other. But once you finish talking, it's like, oh well. You know, I'm so sorry that happened to you or they'll give you some small, tiny little advice to make it seem like they care and then double back to themselves. So it's like people really aren't emotionally there for you. They're, they aren't mentally there for you. They aren't there for you spiritually. They're not able to hold your vessel. 
always got to be the strong one. Yeah, you always have to be the one to transmute the energy. You always have to be the one to, to still step fast. You always have to be the one that's carrying the weight on your shoulders. You always have to be the one transmuting energy. You may be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. always feel like you're in phoenix rebirth mode you feel like you're always constantly going through a, re, a, a rebirth you're going through regrowth you're going through just reprogramming it's like it's, it's a constant back and forth a, a constant yeah kind of headache Having to be strong all the time is becoming a headache. It's starting to feel like a burden. You used to wear that on your shoulder and wear that on your sleeve as a badge of honor. You used to wear it as a badge of honor. I don't need nobody. I got this. I'm always, I could lose everything and I'm gonna always make it back. You used to wear that shit as a badge of honor. And it's like now it, it feels like a burden. It's like now it's a blessing and a curse because you being the person that can really withstand whatever ever storm, withstand whatever is thrown at you, really leave you by yourself a lot. It leave you by yourself holding the basket. It leave you by yourself having to figure things out. It leave you by yourself having to just be by yourself. I, you know, I was just about to say, some of you are starting to think about death. Some of you are definitely becoming mad suicidal. And it's like you are um, desiring love. You're searching for love. You're trying to find a reason, a person to, to get you to, to, you know what I'm saying, be your life saver. For some of you, though, those people, those person is your children. Your children are the reason why that you're still breathing in this realm at this moment. They are your life preser preserver. But some of you are, are trying to find other other things, other ways, other connections, adult connections for those of you that only really have your children. You're trying to find ad adult connections. You're trying to find the the abundance in life, of course, with yourself first, but with other people, you still desire those connections. You still desire external love. You still desire to be appreciated, to be desired, to be wanted, to be cared about. Here's six of baskets, eight of baskets. You still desire to be loved. You want that give and take. You want to experience the beauty and the abundance of, of life. Not just what you give to life, but what life can also give to you. Not just what you give to people, places, and things, but what people, places, and things can give to you. You guys will definitely be cutting off some friendships, some relationships. For some of you, it's some careers, just whatever is one side or whatever is not pouring into you. Yeah, but what, what we started with, we're going right back to. It's time to, re to release these connections. It's time to let them go because you're already alone and you're not, you're never alone. Your spiritual team, God is always with you. That's why we put in the quotation marks because you're never alone. Um, but that's why you're alone right now because you need to literally be alone. Cut all those attachments to, to people, even the people that you have not spoken to in a while that you hold space for and hold into your heart. And that, you know, times like these, you think that they're still your friend. You think that you're able to confide in them. You think that they have your highest and purest good at heart. You think that they care about you. They don't. It's time to release them. It's time to embrace the, the fullness of you. You've been strong for everybody else for so long. It's time to just be strong for yourself. You've been figuring out stuff for people for so long. It's time to figure out some stuff for yourself. And you can do it by yourself. You've been doing it by yourself. You had all the people around you and still was feeling lonely. Why not be at peace in your lonely, by your lonely? Be at peace in it. Have security in it, safety in it. Sanity. 
I don't give a damn who rock with you as long as you rock with you. Okay, y'all is definitely about to be releasing one-sided friendships and connections or whatever you may be holding on to or what may be energetically as well holding on to you. But it's time to release it. It's time to stop spinning the block. Stop spinning the block for these people. If they want to be in your life, make them spin the block for you. And when they spin the block for you, it's going to be two, three times, ten times the work in order to even touch a, a percentage of the position that they was in originally. Okay, so go ahead and, and, and be with you for a while. Learn those tough lessons. And, and I know you probably like, I've been with myself. I've been with myself. <laughs> I've been working on myself. That's all I do. Yeah. You've been working on yourself still holding on to people, places, and things that needs to still be released, that needs to be detached from. Yeah, things that you still need to move on from. Things that it's time to let go from you trying to move forward and elevate into a different timeline, into a different dimension, into a different frequency. You trying to create heaven on earth and you still got a whole bunch of baggage in, in your heart. You still got a whole bunch of trauma in your heart. You still holding on to people energetically and people still holding on to you energetically. That's keeping you stagnant. That's holding you back. Bag a lady, you gon' miss your bus. You can't hurry up because you got too much stuff. <laughs> My throat chakra acting up for some reason. Y'all don't know why. But yeah. Like, it's, it's time for you to, to release all that trauma, all that baggage, all that dead ass weight. It's dead weight. It's time for your world to change, to evolve, to become a new. Release that dead ass weight. Things are maturing. Your intuition has been telling you these people are not for you. This is not your person. Even if it was your person at one point in time, you guys are no longer on the same frequency. You guys are no longer on the same timeline. You guys are no longer in alignment. Allow them to venture out. Allow them to be released. Allow them to move on. Allow yourself to move on. Take heed to your guidance, to your intuition. Again, stop spinning the block for people. If they want to be in your life, baby, they will spin the block for you and put the work in. If they want to be in your life, they will spin the block for you. You, Yeah, I've been spinning the block on people for years. For people for years. Giving benefit of the doubt for pe on people for years. For years. For some of y'all, it's like literally... 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, plus 20 plus friendships and relationships. Yeah, I've been spending the block on. Nah, if they want, if they want this, this connection, if they want to indulge in your energy, if they want to co-create with your energy, they got to put the work in. They got to come spend the block on you. They got to elevate mentally, emotionally, and physically. They got to be able to pour into you the way that, you're, that you are willing to pour into them because you are pouring into yourself that way. And also, it's like you want to give you want to give what you want to receive or treat people how you want to be treated type of energy. Yeah. Look at that. The uh, daughter of baskets. And I'm seeing my have, have me look at the ace of coins. Yeah. You and I treat people how you want to be treated type of energy. Okay. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. One hand wash each other, both hands wash the face. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like I'm, I bring the dishes, I, I bring the dishes in the kitchen and wash them. You dry them off. You put them up. I buy the groceries. You make the food. Like that type of energy. You, 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 you are reciprocating too many cards, spirit. You are reciprocating. And that's all you want to receive is reciprocating ass energy. And that person isn't ready to give it to you yet. Yeah, I can't make it up. Only cards is coming out in reverse. We got the two of baskets, the nine of knives, and the nine of six. You guys may have been seeing 99 lately. But this person, or 299, or 992, um, this person is, is is not ready to, to give you what you desire. 
This person may not even be interested in this friendship and this relationship and having you as an employee or an employer, depending on, you know, whatever it may be. They're not really interested in having, yeah, a connection with you. And for some of them, they'll rather watch you from far away than admit that they miss you, to admit that they love you, to admit that they're still interested in this connection. They would rather be on crutches watching you far away. They would rather have that hole in their heart, have that hole in their soul and watch you from afar than to put in the work in order to have this friendship, this connection, this relationship, this, this employment to grow. They don't want to put in the work to have it to grow. You also may be seeing 333. We have mother of knives, daughter of six, and eight of coins. They, they're not ready to put in the work to, to have it grow. They're more putting in the work to run away. They're more reading the book and getting the plays just to have them. Five is a six at the bottom of the deck. Again, if this person, what I'm getting from this last row as well is if they want you, they'll spin the block. Again, also, they might not want to do the work right now, but if they ever want to encounter your energy again, they're going to have to do the work. They're going to have to go with him. They're going to have to self-realize. They're going to have to take self-accountability. They're going to have to communicate. They're going to have to be honest. They're going to have to be straightforward and stop beating around the fucking bush. Yeah. They're going to have to come straight, no chaser. They're going to have to come straight, no chaser. It's time to release this friendship, this connection, this employment, whatever is not seeing your worth. And it's not that they don't see it. They definitely see your worth. They definitely see who you are. They definitely see what what your energy radiates. They see it. They just don't have the capacity to cherish it, to multiply it. And some of them, again, don't want to put in the work. They still chilling with their demons. They still chilling with their demons. They don't want to put in the work. They, they don't want to face themselves. They don't want to admit that they're being childish. They don't want to admit that, they, hey, I haven't really been a good friend. Hey, I'm not really interested in this friendship or this connection or this relationship or, or this business partnership, but I still want to be energetically connected to you. They, they, they don't, they don't want to do that because they still want to be in energetically connected to you. They still want to reap the benefits of your energy, even though you guys aren't in close contact or aren't speaking or may not, you know what I'm saying? Even be friends on social media, whatever. Even if you aren't able to keep up with this person, or this person doesn't keep up with you on a daily, this person is still able to manifest the tap into your energy. They are using your energy, especially if you guys are like in a relationship, your sexual energy. They are using your sexual energy to co-create with other people, places, and things. So it's like, hey, I don't, I don't really desire this connection i don't really want to put the work in to keep it but i still see the fruits of it and i want to eat off of the buffet over there it's time to do some cord cutting yeah it's time to do some cord cutting of your abundance from them they can't they can't tap into your abundance you want my abundance you want to be in my energy well you gonna have to do the work to get into my energy and in order to enjoy my energy, you have to treat me right. <laughs> the sun, you got to treat me right. Or that could be the star. I think it's the sun, though. But, yeah, you got you to gotta treat me right. You see how now the three, three of sticks, they she together. Got her little dress on, blowing in the wind. You got to treat me right if you want to tap into or assist with or get assistance from my abundance, from my aura, from my high vibrational white light energy, from my birthright abundance. 
You want a piece of my pie? Yeah. You want a piece of my pie? You got to tap in. You got to tap in. You have to be genuine. You have to be pure. You have to be grounded. You have to be planted. You have to be honest. And you got to be all in. Because we all in around here. It, 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 you feel me? It don't get no better than this around here. We can't have nobody around here that's going to be taking from us. We don't have nobody around here that's going to be taking the bricks that I'm using to build my home and running over there building somebody else's damn home. Uh-uh. Whether it's financially, mentally, emotionally, energetically, spiritually, whatever, you will not be taking our bricks. Go ahead and say, click. No, they won't. They can't have our bricks going to take the tub somewhere else. No, you, no, you can't. No, you can't. These bricks got my name on it. <laughs> like, what? You know, they be like, do that seat got your name on it? Yes, bitch, it do. <laughs> yes, it do. It has my name on it. You can't take my bricks nowhere. You can't take my bricks nowhere and think you about to rest comfortably. comfortably. You can't try to use my energy nowhere and think that you about to rest comfortably. No. You can't hold on me energetically. Without actually providing me the emotional support that comes along with this connection, with this friendship. Friends is not just about turning up. Friends is being there when your lights is cut off. When you about to get evicted. When you ain't got no food in your house. When you going through real life shit. Your friends come through and bring balance and bring justice. Your friends come through and bring wisdom. Your friends come through and they stand with you. That's what friends do. Your friends come through and they give guidance. That's what friends do. That's what friends do. They help find a solution with you. And it's not just by words and talking. It's not just by saying, oh, that's crazy and give you some bullshit ass answer that, that you know, you do not already thought over. You didn't already try to do 10 times. And it's like, bro, don't you think I, that's the most simplest. You know what I'm saying? Don't you think I've already done that? Maybe what I'm saying friends is going to stand with you. If, if there's no solution, they're they going to stand with you until you find a solution. That's what friends do. Okay. That's what friends do. That's what friends do. Friends stand with you till you find a solution. They with you not just when you're light, but in your darkness too. They with you not just when you up, but when you down too. They are with you. And for some of y'all, it's, it's connections that you, for these, some of these people, you really think that, that you're, they're your friend. You about to find out. I can't make this shit up. You really think that this person is your friend. They is not your friend. They is two-faced, finagling, and been juggling your business, everybody else's business. This is somebody that talk about everybody else. So for some reason, you think that they do not talk about you. Baby, yes, they do. This is somebody that's shysty to everybody else. And for some reason, you think that you're special and they will not be shysty to you. Baby, yes, they do. Okay, yes, they do. You about to find out for some of y'all. For some of y'all, these are, again, lifetime or feel like lifetime friends. Um, again, 10, 5, uh, 9, 15, 20-year friendships where you guys may not be close. Y'all not close. Y'all barely really speak. But when y'all call, it seems like it's all love. You about to find out. You about to find out. You about to find out. How this person really feels about you. You about to find out the conversations that you've had with this person. This person has about you with other people. For some of you, this friend lives out of town. Some of you, this friend lives out of town. Yeah, they moved out of town. They may also be trying to get you to, to travel with them. 
That don't do it. Yeah, I'm getting that. I don't know that girl name, but that's the vibes I, I just got when I seen these cards. Don't do it. We got the eight of sticks. The six of coins. And the nine of coins. Don't do it, Sh Sharika or Sh Shakira or I, I can't say it in her name. But I'm getting that vibe. Don't do it. Don't freaking do it. Don't freaking do it. Them is not your friends. Y'all about to find out. I'm telling y'all, the cycle is ending. The cycle is ending. It is ending. And y'all are getting warnings of who are for you and who is not for you. Let them people go. Let them people go. Let them go. Some of them are are working with someone else to do spell work on you because they dumbass think that you're doing spell work on them. Like, what? And the crazy thing is that somebody else convinced they ass that you was doing spell work on them. They don't think that you're doing spell work on them. Somebody else projected their thoughts and their own agenda to them that made this person believe that you're doing spell work on them. And now they're doing spell work on you, trying to counteract their whatever the fuck they think they're doing. And, and they don't even realize that you're hanging yourself. Yeah, you're hanging yourself. You done got yourself caught up in the middle. Thinking these is your friends and they helping you. They getting your ass caught right up. They got their bag of tricks. Throwing low vibrational energy, low vibrational intentions and thoughts to the divine feminine, divine masculine. Because they swear up and down. They over there doing it to them. They swear up and down. They also, you see how these guys is coming back out? They definitely swear up and down. They doing it to them. They done got their whole little friends or they mate, whatever. Doing rituals on the divine collective, trying to bring chaos. Because they think that you're doing rituals on them. Or even if it's not rituals, somebody could be sabotaging you in whatever way, shape, or form, fashion, thinking that you are going to sabotage them or you're sabotaging them. Someone has really pump faked into this person's ear. They got a little birdie chirping in their ear. Yeah, these, these friendships is coming to an end. They not even friendships. They distractions. And they're coming to an end. They're pathway blockers. You see how this... And it's crazy. I said that some to look at the card. They're pathway blockers. And that's what they are. Let's see, where are we going at? these people like i said i can't make it up the candles i hope y'all seen it when it was going down the candles yeah someone's definitely sending magic to the divine feminine divine masculine to the the chosen ones period they could have been doing it since the summer it, for some of you, this 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 uh, lovers or whatever, I think this the lovers in this deck. They this keep wanting to pop out, so they could be doing spell work around your love life to stop you from either in coming in contact. Yes, yeah, spell coming back out, manifestation stop you from coming in contact with your divine partner, or they could be um, stating like incantations. Um, to keep your divine partner or your person bound. And this could have been going on since the summertime. Whether this summer or last summer. Yeah. They, they, they energy is not respected. They uh, magic is not respected. Yeah, spirit initiation. Spirit is definitely intervening in this magic. 
That's why it's time for you to walk away from these people, places, and things. That's why it's time for you to leave these one-sided ships. You know, one-sided ships, that means they got a hole in it, which means eventually it's going to sink. Eventually, that ship going to go ahead and sink, baby. Their minds will drop, drop off. You got your life preserver on. Got your little vest joint on. And you can swim, baby. Yeah, it's time for you to get off. It's time for you to listen to that knowledge and that insight and that guidance spirit is, spirit is giving you. Yeah, we got dedication. Someone is definitely dedicated to trying to stop this. Yeah, it's crazy to keep coming out. Definitely dedicated to trying to stop this union of whatever it may be. It doesn't even have to be a relationship. This could be union within yourself. This could be union with your increase, with your a birthright abundance. This could be union with your soul family. It does not have to be a relationship, but it's still a union. You coming into union with what things that are meant for you. We have autumn coming out. Imagination healer. This person is definitely, um, now you have to flip up with yourself because I'm getting a lot of energy. This could, this could be a karmic or a low vibrational energy that is around your friend or around your ex or whoever you may um, be holding on to that needs to be released. Or this can um, be your person. Again, they, this could be a friend as well. But I'm getting that, again, someone is manipulating your energy through sex. That's what I'm getting from this, through their imagination, through sex. So while they're having sex with their current partner or with whoever they bumping and grinding with, they are um, thinking of you, the healer. I'm hearing witch pussy. That's what I'm hearing for real, for real. They're thinking of the healer. For some of you, this is a person that you can feel men um, masturbating to you. Everyone, yep, I can't make it up. It's time to clear that energy out. You know, for some of you, your divine mate is um, merging with their with themselves and they are doing manifestation work to come into union with their divine mate. So you may feel an energy that you're not familiar with. That's your true mate. If you feel an energy tugging on, on your energy constantly, um, or like you can feel them men, uh, masturbating to your pictures, or you can feel them like basically an energy vampire on you, it's time to cleanse out that energy. It's time to have the motherfuckers put some respect on your name. Okay, let them know that that shit is not respected. That is an invasion of energy, invasion of pri pri privacy. That is an invasion. I did not ask for that. Okay? And some of you, once you guys clear out this energy, you're going to be awakened. Once you guys start to clear out this energy, you're going to be able to um, integrate some lessons that you feel like you're on the hamster wheel about. You're going to be able to pass some levels that you feel like you've been stuck on. You know, you're playing the game, you've been stuck on the same level for like three weeks. So you like, oh, why can't I beat this level? Like, shit like that. As soon as you clear out this person from your energy, as soon as you clear out this person from your energy, your awakening is going to excel. Any other messages, Spirit? Any other messages, Spirit? Any other messages, Spirit? We have rebirth and responsibility, yeah. With foundation at the bottom of the deck. Yuppers. 
it's also what I'm getting with this rebirth and responsibility. It's also your responsibility to take control of your energy. If you are aware that someone is manipulating your energy, if you are aware that someone is pro projecting into your energy, it's your responsibility to take control of that. It's your responsibility to pull up some type of barrier, some protection ritual, fiery wall of protection, um, call on your ascended masters on the most high for protection. It's your it's your responsibility to do that so you can walk into your awakening. Again, it's time to cut these cords with these low vibrational energies, with these karmics, with these contracts that's been expired, but we still work in them. That's like when, when them artists, when them artists or musicians be talking about, oh yeah, my contract ended five years ago and I ain't even know and I still been working, been dropping albums for those people. That type of shit. Nah, it's time to release that so you can walk into that rebirth. It's time to release that so you can build this new foundation. So you can accept the foundation that's being built for you. You know the message spirit before we close up. Uh, I put that whole deck down. And guess what card popped out? Someone is definitely working on some type of union. Or you are calling in this union and you releasing these people that you're holding on to in your heart space. You out with the old and in with the new one so you can actually have space to receive the new. Is what also could be happening. That could also be why you're getting this tug. It's time to release people. That's why you're going to have this real time, real time interaction to give you insight and clarity and confirmation that okay, this cycle has come to an end. Yeah, you're very close to achieving your goal. Be bold and make the first move. Be bold and cut that cord. You're very close to achieving the friendships and the connections and the relationships that you desire. You are so close. Be bold and, and make that first move of actually severing this cord, actually cutting that connection, actually closing out the contract. You and your loved ones are safe. You and your loved ones are safe. That's too many cards, spirit. Any other messages, spirit, for this new moon? Excuse me, this full moon. Any other full moon messages? Work through your fears. You may have abandonment issues. And that may be why you hold on to people. Like even if they're not physically with you. That maybe that's why you hold on to them energetically. Because you don't really want to. You don't want them to release you. And, and you don't want to release them. You know, it's, it's nice to, even if you're, I'm getting a sense of like, even if I don't have all of them or I don't have like a full friendship or a full relationship or I'm not getting the full benefits of this connection, at least I have the connection. At least I have the, the, the thin, you know, the thin rope to, to be able to hang on. At least I have that. And it's like, you are so much more worthy than, than just that. If this person wants to be in your life, if this person wants to continue this friendship, this person can work towards it. Release the fear of, of, of never having anybody or release the fear of feeling like you'll never be loved again or nobody uh, be a friend like them or love you like them or whatever the hell. Work through that fear of abandonment. Work through that fear of codependency. Work through that fear of, of attachment. And hold your vision. When you cut these people off and you make up your mind that, hey, I'm not dealing with this anymore. Hey, I'm worthy of more than this. I deserve more than this. I'm not accepting one-sided friendships and relationships. I'm not accepting seeking boats. I'm not accepting seeking boats. Hell no. Hold your vision and believe in the impossible. Believe that even if this person, believe in the impossible that you will receive the connections that are aligned with you 
you will receive the connections that are most beneficial with you, even if it's not with that person. And also believe in the, po in the possible. If that person wouldn't be in your life, baby, they will do the work. They will give you the apology. Okay? They will put in the effort. They will give you the attention, the reassurance, the confirmation, the clarity. They will be honest and communicate. Whatever it is, they going to do it. And if they don't do it, it's all right. Because you're opening up room and space in order to call in and accept and receive what you do desire. And the people that will provide you and give you all of those things without you even having to ask. And if you do have to ask, baby, trust you ain't going to have to ask twice because they heard you the first time. Okay? Because they heard you the first time. And the message of spirit. A personal issue reaches resolution. Yeah. Because y'all about to be dropping people off. Y'all about to be coming one and content within yourself. Emotions are running high. And that came out actually in the reverse. Because I feel like you've already... It's been a, a long time coming. You've been having this this nudge. You've been having this feeling for a while when it comes to these certain people, places, and things. So it's like this confirmation is just giving you um, a little more confidence to do it. It's just giving you a, the, the clarity. It's not really ruffling your feathers because it's like, yeah, I already knew this. This is just confirming my um, my thoughts. This is just confirming my intuition. One last card, please, Spirit. One last card. Luck is on your side. A new start is coming at the bottom of the deck. I love the and and the reading in that energy because a new start is coming for y'all. Y'all don't have to hold on to people, places, and things for things for for things that has already been expired. Like I had said in a previous video. You wouldn't eat food that's expired. If you put some food out the refrigerator and it was expired, or someone tried to give you some food that was expired, you're going to toss it right in the garbage. Treat these relationships, these friendships, these jobs, all the extra things, these the, the houses, the cars. When, when it expires, throw that shit out and move on. Don't be holding on to dead shit. It stink after a while. It starts to stink. It smell bad. Feel me? You got to get rid of it. You got to get rid of it. Let the new start come in. Okay, you see this void? That means there's a whole bunch of abundance on its way to you in many way or forms. Okay, a new slate. A new slate. Let it come to you. All right, love bugs? It may feel like you are losing things at times, but baby, you coming into alignment. And also releasing these unhealthy attachment, releasing these one-sided friendships, releasing these sucking boats. Baby, that is going to intensify and increase your self-worth and your self-value within yourself. Okay? That's going to increase it. What? Especially a month later, two weeks later, three months later, you get to looking back. And you see the growth and you can actually see it from like a movie perspective where you're like watching it in the theater and you're like, wow, I ain't even, I ain't perceive it like that back then. Like, wow, I was, wow, I've, I've grown so much. You know, I've worked, I, I've, I put in for, to myself and for myself. Like some of y'all, listen, it's, it's going to be all right and y'all are going to receive the abundance, the friendships, the connections, the love, the money, the family, everything that you desire is on its way to you right after you cut them cords of things that's no longer in alignment. Right after you cut those cords of things that's no longer on the same frequency, things that you no longer, people that you no longer resonate with, and you know you don't resonate with them. You know it's time to skirt off and lead them on the corner. 
Now, when you, when you spin the block this time, it ain't to pick them up. You on your way to a new destination. You just got to pass by their ass to get there. That's it. You feel me? You're going to be spinning the block and they going to just think that you coming for them. Uh, bro, it's just a red light right here. Do you, you ain't forget that you're standing at a stop sign. <laughs> I'm still going though. Like, you feel me? Like, um, yeah, I'm on my way to my destination. And if they want to carpool, if they want to catch up with you, if they want to do any of that, if they want to carpool, they're going to pay for the gas. They're going to chip it on the gas. Okay, if they want to meet you where you're going, they're going to get a fucking ride. They're going to find a way to get there. Okay, and if they ain't doing that, leave they ass where they at because you done already did it enough. I love you guys so much and you are so valuable. You are so worthy and deserving of true, fruitful, longevity connections. And you are going to receive just that. Okay, my love bugs, that concludes your reading. I love you guys so much. Namaste.